Hello, cute people. It's me with a little update, just sharing some good news with you guys. I finally got my own place. I've been waiting for this for about, well, not quite two years. It's not like in New York where you wait for an apartment like forever if you're on a waiting list. This apartment here, I moved on the waiting list quite fast, and here I am. So I guess now you can say I am officially a North Carolina resident. I like this neighborhood because it's very, very quiet. I don't think there's many children here. It seems to be a lot of older, mature people here, which is okay. But it can be a little boring, <laughs> but I'm cool with it. And as you can see, a lot of space, a lot of green. Just look really nice here. Really quiet here. So like I mentioned, I just wanted to share with you guys what's um been going on. I've been here now for not even a full week yet. And I think tomorrow, Tuesday, it'll be a full week. Yeah. But I've had the apartment f since the 1st of August. I just didn't move in right away. As you know, since I'm from New York, all my furniture is in New York. And I don't know when or how I'm going to get it here. But I'm going to show you my new digs. Mm hmm. And I can say I really, really like a lot of things. And there's some things I just don't like. Like I can say here, I have a lot of sunlight. That's for sure. And the blinds are drawn, so you really can't tell. So remember when I was at my mom's house and even in my old apartment, I would say I didn't have much light. Well, especially my mother's house, I didn't have a lot of light, but I have a little bit more light than I did there. But this is my living room. They have some pretty scones there, which I think are very nice. I wish they weren't so high. But um, this is my living room there, as you see, curtains here. Yeah. I don't know when or how I'm going to get my furniture from New York um, because I can't really take off on work much. And to get it here is going to cost a, a cute little penny, but I got to get it done because I want my place to feel comfortable for me. But this closet here I really like because, as you can see, it's kind of deep. And I, I like that very, very much. Um, let's see here. Something else I really didn't care for, which was why they put the furnace in the living room. Yeah. This should be towards the back of someone's home, but it's good. So this is the little furnace here. That's all. They didn't clean it out, so I, I have to clean it out, which I think is horrible. They should have cleaned it for me, but they didn't. This apartment here has a lot of spiders. Yes. I would come here and just walk into web after web after web. And my floor is horrible. They didn't even clean it much. I don't know if you can see all the scuff marks. Oh, it looks horrible. So I'm going to have to get on my hands and knees and clean this. But this is a little dining area. And it is a little dining area at that. And like I mentioned, what I like is that um, there's windows everywhere. Here's the other window in the living room. Go back that way. And I mentioned, um, well, I didn't mention, but I'm going to mention it now. Here's the ceiling fan. I like the ceiling a lot, but I do not... I don't like ceiling fans. I never have. I do like decorative um, lighting. I would have chose something else, of course. But one good thing I can say about this is that, you know, it gets really hot here. So I don't have to worry about always having the um, AC on, which, of course, it cost me a cute penny. So with the fan, I mean, it is electricity, but it may be a little bit cheaper to use your ceiling fan as opposed to always having the AC on. So that's that. Uh, and I like, and I really like my um my view. <laughs> I don't really have a view, but I like the fact that it's just green, trees and grass, and a whole lot of quietness, which I do like. So okay, so this is my little dining area. I think my dining table will just fit in here, and maybe a little. Not maybe, a, not a bookcase, but maybe a little buffet table or something in that area right there. Even against the window, but we'll see. Now, another thing I really like about this apartment here, they don't call it an apartment. 
down here. They call this a duplex. Me, a duplex, I would think, is when you have more than one floor. But everyone calls it a duplex. If you live in the South, let me know more about that. So this is my little patio area, I'd say. And this is what I'll be looking at. If you saw some of my previous videos when I sat on my mom's porch in the back, you know, at least I could see some crops and maybe a deer or two. I don't think I'll see a deer here because right on the other side is a parking lot for the nursing home. I believe it's the nursing home. So that's what this looks like. And it's nothing but green. Can you hear some? I think it's a frog. And yes, there are frogs around this piece because the other day, I came out here and I saw a big old frog over here and almost had a heart attack. I felt really official the other day when I got my garbage can. And then up there, I don't know if you can see, but there's a wasp nest up there, which I have got to get rid of because I don't want to sit out here and be afraid to get stung. But I like the fact that you can see it's shady, so I'm going to come out here and sit down and chill out. So I have to get some kind of chairs or something. I'm not sure what. And right there, I like the fact that they gave me a storage closet. And it's just like a regular closet. Nothing um, outstanding. I would have to get the key to unlock it. But I don't have anything in there. I have to clean it. I don't know if you can see all those webs over there. It's something about cobwebs around here. Because like I said, there's a lot of spiders. I had come here the other day to clean up. And um, the broom went under the baseboard. A whole bunch of spiders came out. I don't know what's up with these floors and the stains, but there's stains everywhere. But when I get it clean as much as I can, I'm going to um, throw some rugs on the floor. So this is the kitchen. Yeah, I like the kitchen a lot. Um, cabinets for days days for days drawer space nice oven a dishwasher which i don't think i'd use much but i'm glad that i do have it and of course more windows and of course i could put some cute little stuff up top there most likely something decorative but nothing too hard to get to and clean because in the kitchen you know i don't care what you put up top those cabinets they're going to get dirty too and again, it's just something with these floors in this, this apartment. Now, they gave me brand new carpet. They need to start giving people brand new floors. I think one other person lived here before I did, from what I hear and understand. So this is the kitchen. Yeah. And I had to buy a few necessities because, again, all my stuff is in New York. So I just bought some stuff from Walmart, a little cheap. Pot set for ten dollars, plate set for ten dollars. I did buy some curtains because I want to put something up because I like color. One thing I could say in here in this apartment, I just want to work with a lot of color, 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 color. So here we go back out of the kitchen, and then I'm going to take you next to the bathroom, which I like because it's big and spacious, but I don't like because. It looks like a public restroom to me anyway. And this is the bathroom. And I am so in love with this vanity. Yeah. Excuse my sink. It has a slow drain, whatever you may want to call it. But anyway, I love this. Having the drawers here. I love all that space right there. And look at that big mirror. It is big. Well, make sure I'm not in the mirror. Look at that. Yes. Yeah, so when I first saw it, I said, wow, that's a big medicine cabinet. Because we also always used to have in a medicine cabinet over the sink, right? I know the sink looks horrible. But here's the medicine cabinet. You see the medicine cabinet right there? On the side? Yeah. I thought that was really, really cute. Different. It's a regular medicine cabinet. And the reason why I say this looks like a um, public restroom bathroom because of those, um, what do you call those handles? I'm not sure. And just, it's just look at the space. And again, an ugly, dirty looking floor. 
I just put up the um, shower curtain. I didn't. I have my bath mats. I just didn't put them down yet because I wanted to clean up the floor. But this is it. And I like the fact that I have a fan in the bathroom, so that'll keep the mildew down. And I bought this little thing from Walmart. It's so short. I was hoping it would be a little bit taller. But I do like the fact that I have space so that I can put other things on. And I think what I'm going to put in this drawer here is going to be my North Carolina hair care stash. Yeah. Because I still have a lot of stuff to get from my mom's house. So I'm going to try to get that stuff soon, too. And then I'm like, because I have this area here I could use and put a little case here or a little hamper and have more space. That's why I said I like the bathroom because it's spacious. But I don't like it because to me it looked like a public restroom. And I like the vanity lights. I know if you can see them too well. I like the vanity lights. We come out of the bathroom. And that's my son's room. He's in there now. So I'm going to bother him. But one thing in his room I like is the closet. He has a long closet. Um, not as Mine's is not as long, but I'll show you. Back to that, I have to find out what that is. Maybe something they can get up in the roof. I gotta make sure that no one can get in here from the roof. Yeah. Now this, I really, really like it. I'm so upset because I don't have a washer and a dryer yet, of course. And see what I was telling you about these floors around here? Okay, here it is. And right now, Sears is having a um, Labor Day sale. And I don't need a really cute, I mean, I would love to have a real fancy, cute-ass um, washer and dryer set. You know, red, silver, and chrome, or whatever. But my pockets ain't fat like that. So I'll take what I can get. But I'm hoping that I can get something soon. And like I said, um, Caesar's having a sale now. $2.99. Washer and dryer each. Oh, well, but I'll get one soon because I need one. So in the meantime, we'll just be going back and forth to my mother's house to wash clothes. And like I mentioned, she's only um, four minutes driving from me. Now, this is where I'll be resting my head is my bedroom. Yes, honey, I am sleeping on a cot. Mm hmm. Only because, remember, my furniture is not here. So, this is where I'll be sleeping. And um, it's not too bad to sleep, but um, I need my bed. And here we go with another ceiling fan, a white one at that. And um, yeah, it's cute. It's all right. And I did buy myself a television because, yes, all my stuff is in New York. And, um... A lot of the light switches look like this. Like one is for the ceiling fan, one for the light, of course. And this here, you can adjust the light because you can dim the lights. And um, this is in each bedroom and also in the living room. You can dim the lights if you like. Great, right? So there's my view when I want to sit in front of the window. I have a chair so I don't have to just sit on the bed all the time. And then this is my closet. I don't have anything in here because I didn't put my clothes in here yet. Uh, I had intended to do that Sunday night, but I did not. And I love the fact that I have a light. Yeah. So I was thinking even putting a vanity, a little tiny baby vanity right there. But once I get all my clothes from New York here, there's no way um, I'll be able to put anything there. Because I don't really think, looking at this space, that all my bedroom furniture is even going to fit in here. I know, I look like I'm in prison, right? Y'all excuse how I made my bed, but I do always throw my covers up so it looked like I made it my bed, but I was just sitting on it, so. And, yeah, this is it. Mm -hmm. So, and like I said, I really, so here I am at the, window and that's it like i said i'm really hoping that all my stuff will fit in this room because i'm feeling like once i put my bedroom in here my bed rather because i have a queen size bed and maybe my dresser i don't know 
I just hope all my stuff can fit in here because I'm not giving anything away and I'm not selling anything. So it better fit in here. I'm not changing my bed size or anything. So queen size bed for life. <laughs> but this is it. This is where I'll be for however long I'm going to be here. And I'm pretty happy with um, the apartment. Some things I would definitely change, but others I really, really like. And I like the fact that um, I'm not far from my mother, so I can always get over to her. Like today, I'm going to go by the house and see her. And uh, my nephews could walk over here, ride their bikes if they want. I could walk too. Um, I'm going to buy a bike, so that's something I'm looking forward to. And um, this is my North Carolina update. Like I said, um, I'm in here. <laughs> so I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on with me because this is pretty much um where I needed to be. I needed to have my own space, my own spot. I live with my mother, my nephew, and his kids. So there was four. And me and my son made six. And, you know, when you live in a house with other grown people, you don't do things the same way. So it was in my house. I had to conform to a lot. But now I got my own place. So now people have to conform to me. And I am particular. Oh, yes, I am. No dishes in the sink overnight. When you cook for yourself, clean your plates. When, um... Before you go to bed, make sure the garbage is out. You know, little simple stuff like that to keep your home clean and comfortable. Yes. So I'm going to end this video now because I need to get dressed. I wanted to run to New Bern to do some stuff. I'm not sure what, but I need to do something because there's always something I realize I need and I don't have. So I got to get, like I don't have scissors and I needed scissors the other day. I don't have a um, uh, um, wine opener, and yeah, yeah, I do need one of those. But um, yeah, so this is my home, and um, I hope you enjoy. And if you've moved recently or you're going to be moving, especially out of state, let me know your experience in the comment section below. So again, I'm going to end this video. I've got to go, and as always, I thank you guys for stopping by to watch. And I will see you in my next video. You guys share and spread love. Mwah.